Totally Bitchin' 80s Movies Tournament is sponsored by 72 Dreams Recordings and their new artist, Alex Boddicker. Mental Anguish EP will be coming out June 1st of 2018. You can check out the single Cheap Thrilla now streaming on all platforms. So please check it out. All right, we are back. We are going to be going over our next matchup in the gnarly bracket, which would be number four, A Nightmare on Elm Street versus number 13, The Predator. Now, you know, two classic movies. Um, I mean, both featuring monsters, so to speak. One of them is an alien. One of them is, um, you know, a different type of monster that only appears in your dreams. Um, but nonetheless, um, just awesome, awesome movies. Now, I remember seeing A Nightmare on Elm Street. I didn't, I didn't see it back in 84 when it was made, but it was probably in, in, in the 90s. So I have seen, I had already seen some of the other Nightmare on Elm Streets. Um, those were kind of like horror comedies they kind of evolved into, right? Yeah, they, I mean, unfortunately I don't think the sequels were as good as the original, so. <sighs> the the original, when I saw that, I was like, I, I popped it in, I was like, oh, this is not Nightmare on Elm Street, I'm, I'm gonna laugh. No, <laughs> no, it freaked me out. And I mean, I, uh, just did not did not know what to expect, and when I saw it, I was like, "Wow, how do we get go from here to what we see in the later films?" Not to say that those are bad films, but they just don't compare to this one at all. Um, just like in the Predator, the Predator is kind of having that same. The franchise is kind of having the same type of you know, it's going on so, uh, bad luck with its sequels. Not not so good from compared to compared well, to. Well, I mean, one. I think the Predator itself is still great. It's just the storyline, you know, that kind of makes it. Yeah. Clearly not as great as the original first movie that came out with it. So. Yeah. You know, the Predator came out in 1987, directed by John McTiernan, um, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. <laughs> playing Dutch. You know, this is. You know, I think what I like about the 80s in general is a lot of the movies that came out were very original in the movies. So yeah. this is the first time you see any kind of monster character, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, that you encounter a supernatural being that can disappear into its surroundings. Mm -hmm. He's creepy, kills everything. Yeah. And so, you know, the same thing with Freddy. You just didn't have a character like Freddy. He was creepy with his knives for a hand and he scraped it all on the metal and he was all burnt and there was it was that it was the one scene in particular that, that did it uh, for me he was walking down the alley the uh, an alley and his hands his arms were elongated to where they were going down both sides oh, yeah. and it i don't know why i still remember to this day it, it creeped me out wes craven did a great job with this movie um well, you're a little bit uh, 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 just a little bit though, just just a just, little just bit. A little bit. Um, but Wes Craven did a great job with this, with this movie. Um, this movie actually saved New Line Cinema from going into bankruptcy. So interesting, I didn't know that. One. They called this the after this movie came out. They called New Line Cinema kind of jokingly that this was a house that Freddie built, which was kind of cool. And it also had the debut of. Johnny Depp. That was his debut film. So, it's a lot of good stuff with the uh, with the Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, also, a lot of good stuff with the uh, the Predator. You, I mean, it's a tough decision. All of these are going to be tough decisions. I'm 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 going to stop saying it. I'm just going to lay out the facts, what they are. You guys vote. 
we are gonna keep our opinions to ourselves. Not really. Yeah, not gonna no, happen. No. Um, but you guys vote. Let us know what you think. And we're gonna go to the next matchup.